Thank you. Joining us now, Madison Mayor Paul Soglin. Thank you so much for being with us on what is a very busy day for you, of course. Did you have any idea this was coming until you found out last night? We'd been working with Oscar Mayer officials for several years now, as we do with all important uh, employers in the city. And most recently, uh, after several visits to the plant and they're visiting uh, City Hall, uh, as recently as three months ago when the merger was announced, uh, I reached out and I contacted them and reassured them that uh, we were there to work with them. If there's anything they needed, if there's any planning, uh, our, our, our economic development people, my office, we were, we were right there. And then uh, I got the call yesterday that one of their Chicago officials was driving up. Uh, he made it to the office about 6 o'clock and uh, we were informed of the, of the bad news. And what was your first reaction when they told you this? Uh, how do we get the employees and their families through the, the next 12 to 24 months, the uncertainty. Uh, we got people there with 20, 30 years experience who are not ready to retire. Mm -hmm. But as, as I've, I've said before, the important thing here is that all medicine employers who need skilled workers, and we do, we have a shortage of skilled workers, have got to reach out now. We've got to have connections. And this is where uh, Pat Schramm and the folks at workforce development come in. How do you feel about the fact that, that they never came to you after this long relationship with the city and said, Mayor Soglin, we've got this possibility in Iowa. What would you be able to do with us if we stuck around here? I'm not, I, I don't know. And, and here's the curious thing about it. You know, you've got a merger of Heinz and you've got a merger of Kraft. And it was very clear after the merger that the Heinz element in Pittsburgh was dominant. Mm -hmm. And and my guess is that uh, they just had certain decisions that they were going to make, mm -hmm. and obviously they didn't discuss it with us. We, uh, not I, but uh, some members of this legislative mm -hmm. delegation have made contact with other state officials. There's no record of them being uh, Kraft Heinz contacting the state either. You said earlier today, hundreds of millions of dollars, probably the economic impact in our area, but you said if there's a silver lining, it is that this would be the best time for something this awful to happen. Can you explain that? Well, you look at the tragedy that occurred in Janesville a number of years ago when the GM plant was uh, closed. That was going into a major recession with the real difficulties for reemployment. Mm -hmm. We're at a healthy point here uh, in Madison. The regional unemployment is about four and a half percent. Unemployment in the city is, is down under four, closer to three. And so consequently, this is a time where uh, Madison businesses have cash. They're in a position to do hiring, to expand. We do know that there's a shortage of skilled workers so uh, we, we've got to move, and I'm confident that in the next 12 to 24 months, uh, most of the workers will be employed, uh, that, that the housing situation will be stable, and that Madison will be uh, a healthy place if we all work at this together. We've only got about 15 seconds, but uh, you and I have both been here since the 1960s. Oscar Mayer and Madison are so intertwined. Does this say anything about Madison as a manufacturing city, a blue-collar town? Are those days just gone? Well, it's, it's a national issue, and that's part of the problem. But I can, you know, we've also been through the Frito-Lay closing. We've been through the Gishold closing. But 100 years from now, the Oscar Mayer whistle, whistle is still going to be around. Mm. Mayor Paul Soglin, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it.